Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We had a very interesting day today coming from Austria. I've mentioned this to you guys before. On the border of the Czech Republic and Austria on Highway E55 there, uh, on the, of course, on the Austrian side, they have been working on building a new uh, superhighway coming from Austria to the Czech Republic. And of course, the Czech Republic is just getting started on the building on their side, uh, quite a go long ways from the border, though. But they plan to meet a four-lane highway eventually together. But I reported this about eight months ago, that they're actually building a checkpoint on the border of Austria and the Czech Republic. And that seems very kind of strange in light of the fact that the European Union has no borders with the states that they're a part of. In other words, if you're crossing from Austria to Germany, there are no checkpoints. But on all the former Soviet states, there's always border crossing checkpoints that were there at one time. But many of these are now deserted. You can travel straight through into Austria from the Czech Republic or Slovakia or any of the other countries there that border the Eastern European nations that are part of the European Union. And you will see the old dilapidated rundown once border crossing checkpoints where you had to go between the police of the different countries, kind of like the United States passing from the US to Mexico. Someone always checked you. You just didn't go into the country without a visa or something of that nature. But since the collapse of the Soviet Union, those border crossings, once the Czech Republic became part of the European Union as well as Slovakia, they begin to disappear, or at least as far as no longer in use. So what really struck me odd was that they were actually building this type of station on the border of the Czech Republic and the, in the country of Austria. Not that, it just, it just seems completely out of place, you might say. Now, could it be used for maybe something like a, a place to check buses or trucks or something? Who really knows? But the very point that they've actually built it there, something that is totally out of the norm, makes me wonder what is the future plans that they're planning on here in the Czech Republic? We know that they're talking about dividing the world into 10 regions, and I have questioned if this could be the very reason why we're seeing this particular place go up. And of course, no doubt, the other ones could easily be put back into operation, but why a brand new place there to check cars as they come in and out of the country? Now, of course, also, today at the checkpoint, as you've heard on the news, the uh, Czech police are out in force at every single crossing in the country that borders with Austria, Slovakia, Poland. They are looking for illegal immigrants trying to cross into the Czech Republic because the Czech Republic is very firm about not wanting the illegal Arabic uh, people fleeing the war-torn countries coming into the Czech Republic and just overwhelming this little country. We were able to catch that on film, and it's actually only just a few meters away. That's only a few yards away from where the border crossing is actually sitting now. Now, it's not an operation, mind you, the one that we came through, but we photographed it for you so you could get a better idea of what I was talking about. And as well, I'm going to take you right now to where we were on the scene recording the events there of the Czech police looking for illegal immigrants. Watch what you see here, especially in the photographs where we zoom in on it there. They're watching the cars to look for the people. They're searching all the trucks, all the buses to see who's actually on them. I can't blame them. I'm actually proud of the Czech Republic for doing such a thing there because we don't need a mass illegal immigration, very much like Hungary has been suffering here in the recent months, a wave of illegal immigrants that has overrun the country. Check this out. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here at the Czech and Austrian border here. And in behind me, which I can show you some zoomed in photographs here on the screen here for you to see as well. This is the Czech police. They are guarding their border everywhere, making sure no one, no Muslims are coming in illegally through this country here. It's been a big issue in this country to keep the immigration out that is illegal and only allow legal immigration into this country. It's very interesting to see the things that are happening. And just over the hill behind me is the brand new checkpoint 
uh, that I have spoken about many times. It is on the Czech and Austrian border. And of course, with uh, when you're looking at um, uh, the country here of the Czech Republic being a former Soviet state there, the only time before ever that you needed a checkpoint was when they were a former Soviet state. So the question is, is why are all these borders being built here in this part of the world here when the European Union, which the Czech Republic is part of the European Union, is supposed to be an open country just like the United States is. I'm Stephen Badum with Israeli News Live here at the border of Austria and the Czech Republic. Shalom. Just amazing to say the very least there what you got to see there on the screen there. Uh, it's a major problem here in Europe. And of course, Germany is going to have even a greater problem. Germany taking in 800,000 immigrants this year. As we reported here just the other day, they have been throwing Germans out of their homes in order to confiscate the properties, in order to build new housing. Now, I have to agree with one thing on Avi Lipkin. When we spoke together about this, Avi said it'll give a a brand new uh, boost to economies because why? They're going to build houses for these people. They're going to build apartment buildings, etc. But the one thing though is the downside. It's kind of like when Satan showed uh, Jesus all the great wonders of the world, all that ever would be in a moment of time. But he never showed him the poverty, only the best side of it. And of course, Avi realizes though both sides. So therefore, he told us that yes, you, you'll need more policemen. You'll need more prisons because they're going to definitely break the laws. They'll need to be put in prisons. And, and as well, you're going to have to deal with the mass building going on. And no doubt, one of the reasons why Germany has pushed for 800,000 because there's a lot of people that will profit by the influx of all these immigrants and the billions of dollars that they will make in building apartment complexes to house these people. So the people, the actual common citizen, though, will suffer at the hands of the wealthy, just as it's always been written, even in the word of God there, as we read to you from the humane gospel there, Yeshua said this would actually happen. They would take the lands for gain. And that's exactly what they're doing, by the way, in Syria. If you think about it, there was a big supply of oil discovered recently in the Golan Heights. Of course, the Golan Heights is a very contested area. Israel in the 1967 war took the Golan Heights. I've been there many times right there on the mountains there looking down at the city of Damascus. But Israel's border before that particular time there was all the way back to the Sea of Galilee. Now Russia's there bringing in troops, 150,000 they called up of their reservists. Doesn't mean that they will all come into, into Syria, but they're definitely going to bring a huge force there. Russia's fired in rockets from the from uh, uh, cruise missiles from the Mediterranean, hitting ISIS targets there, and now China sending their troops in as well to join the Russian troops. Everybody is going to to Syria to take a spoil from the people there, the oil that is. So I am sure that the time is fixing to come very soon where Israel's political leaders are going to have to deal with what Obama has called for Israel to do to go back to pre-1967 borders. That means giving up the Golan Heights back over to Syria, a land that really does belong to the Jewish people. It's a land that God had given them. Well, Israel will get it very soon once she recognizes who her Messiah is. Remember, God gave us this land on conditions and he drove us out because we broke those conditions. And all the blood of the bulls and goats never did do away with our sins, did it? Because if the blood of bulls and goats pardoned sin and remitted sin, Israel should have never went into captivity. That's obvious without a doubt. Undoubtedly, the blood of the bulls and goats did not remit the sin. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.